Hey everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with co-host Chase Reynolds with Lens Rentals. Chase, Hi. how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Fabulous. Happy to have you here. And to my stage left is <laughs> Glenn Dewis. Glenn, what's happening? Well, here at Photoshop World, so yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm in the USA. I'm always happy to be here. Anyways. Happy to be in the <laughs> USA. God bless America. So we're going to talk about, um, you know, obviously at LensRentals.com, they've got a whole lot of gear. That's why we brought Chase on here to talk about just kind of some hot gear, but more importantly, what what's in your bag right now and different things that you just can't live without, which is a very touchy yeah. subject for you right now. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the air? Yeah, I just, do you know what? I wish I could just say, I have this, I love it, and I also like this, but yeah. do you know what? I really am up in the air at the moment, and it's only been since, oh, I don't know, maybe the last six to 12 months that I've really kind of felt unsettled with my gear. The only thing I'm Look, you can with, see him with you. He's, well, he's you just struggling. Pain. Pain. You can feel it's my okay. pain. We're here to help. It's okay. <laughs> let it out, let it out. Yeah. We're here for you. The, the only thing, I've never been one for, as strange as it may sound, I've never been one for collecting lots and lots of gear. Mm. Um, and I think that's probably because I was, when I first started, I was given really good advice from Zach Harris saying, I only use what you've got until you know the limitations and then get what you think you've done, oh, find out what you need. So, advice, and I've been pretty good with that and that's been good obviously financially. Uh, so you said that you were kind of, mentally you're kind of in between camera systems, you're trying yeah. to figure out what the best for you is. Are you looking for one camera system for you? Whether it be, um, like for me personally, I kind of separate it. Mm -hmm. I have camera for what I consider work or pro use, mm -hmm. um, which is usually a Canon um, with the same gear, 7200, yeah. 2470. But then for like everything else, I have I'm found myself towards a micro four thirds system okay. for its its size, its mm. image quality, just mm. that it's kind of fun to use. Um, where I struggle is that that line between the two is mm -hmm. it's kind of starting to get really really gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can do some really cool stuff with that micro four thirds camera, and then I can also I'm not afraid to take my my bigger gear to on vacation or something. So. Yeah. Are, are you looking for one camera kind of to cover it all? Um, well, in an ideal world, Chase, yeah, I would. But <laughs> yeah. you know, there's, there is no such thing, I don't think. Um, and when it comes to vacation, when, I, when I'm away it's, and I'm on my own, it's generally because I'm doing work. When my mm -hmm. wife's with me, I don't want to be taking anything that is going to mean having to carry stuff. So I've got to be honest with you, I've kind of come to the decision that the camera I'm looking for is for the work that I do. Um, and my, my, my mobile phone, it sounds probably really you know, corny yeah. with this, but it's just, that's what I use because I don't even have to think about it. I go out, or I have a camera with me, right. rather than me thinking, oh, I must take my bag. And I don't have to think about, you know, when we go out for, you know, we're on holiday and I, I put my bag down, we go for a bite to eat at lunch and I get up and walk out thinking, oh, no, my bag. I don't do that when I've got my phone, it's in my pocket. So I'm not looking for a camera that's going to be everything to me. No, it's mainly for work, I would say. I've, I've noticed a lot of people with their phone say that it, sometimes it's their favorite camera because they don't have to think about anything but composition and light. Mm. And there's not a lot of times where we can just simply think about that unless you put your camera on manual mode. Yeah, yeah. But that's kind of fun to do that, and especially for someone like you that has to think about so many different elements of mm -hmm. what it's going to be with your post-processing. And So I can imagine that the phone is very simple. It's great. I mean, yeah. I would say that virtually all the pictures that we have, like family kind of pictures and, and group pictures, are all done with a mobile phone because they're taken in opportune moments when you kind of think, rather than thinking, oh no, it's something like a camera. Mm -hmm. you just, you're out, you're having fun, there's no kind of stage picture. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just, you take a natural photo with, you, with your phone because it's just spontaneous. Absolutely. The minute you start getting a camera out of a bag and setting it all up, everyone starts to <laughs> get intense. Yeah. Sure, sure. Just do spontaneous stuff. So I'm taking more pictures with my mobile phone than I'm with my, my work camera, and that's great. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, good. where can people find your work? Um, main hub is my website, which is glyndewis.com, which is G-L-Y-N-D-E-W-I-S.com. Uh, and on there, there's links to my YouTube channel, which gets uh, a video every single week. Every Wednesday, a new video goes out. You now. still do one every week? Every single week. Yeah. Episode 62, I think we're up to wow. now, so, And yeah. it's a lot of it, it, behind the scenes or mostly editing? It's, it's mainly it's a photography, Lightroom, and Photoshop um, uh, weekly show podcast. It's on iTunes as well. Um, but the majority of it is the retouching, yeah. Okay. yeah definitely. okay. And definitely, Chase, where can people find, you know, we talked a lot of gear, a lot of ups and downs yeah. with Portland. <laughs> exactly. Where can people, if they don't have the budget, where can people find where to rent? Well, we'd love for you guys to come check out lensrentals.com. Um, for instance, like if you want to try a camera, like the A7S or the A7R, um, you know, 
That's, I'd say about 40% of our clientele is literally people just want to try something before they buy it. Cool. You know, because it's this, this is not a cheap hobby. You know, a lot of us think yeah, yeah. we're going to start small, but then they have the Zach Arias uh, gear acquisition syndrome, gas yep. as he calls it. You know, <laughs> next thing you know, you're like, I have six camera bodies, no lenses work with any of them, you know, and, and <laughs> everywhere. Um, so yeah, try them before you buy it. Um, so, yeah, let's awesome. Perfect. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for oh, your thank time. Thank you. Thank you very much.